Allah, Allah. Testing one, two, three. Can you hear me, bo boys and gals? Guys and gals, how y'all doing? We live then? <clears throat> All right, let me get everything set up here. Say hello, everybody. Kaden Judah says, why slow mode? So it's less crazy. And even with slow mode on, it's still pretty crazy. Anyway, let's take a drink of water. And let's get this started. All right. Three, two, one. Hey, my name is Jobby, and welcome to another filming stream. And I'm going to be filming the Transformers Masterpiece MP52 Starscream version 2.0, but technically it's 3.0. I don't know why they just forgot about the first version, I guess. Anyway, so we have a lot to film tonight, uh, and I will be uh, taking questions and answering questions and uh, reading comments throughout the stream. Uh, there will be points where I transform this figure because we had to film both the jet mode and the robot mode, don't you know? Uh, so there will be ample time for me to interact with you guys. So until then, feel free to leave comments and questions in the chat. I will be talking to you throughout our time together. Let's get this started. But first, let me look at my list here. All right, got to do the figure turn. Foist. All right. Welcome, everybody. Now, the first question I always ask you guys, how is everybody doing tonight, this fine Monday evening? I have been doing okay, I guess. Uh, I actually filmed the full review for this guy already, which is something I usually don't do. I, uh, By that, I mean I filmed my on-camera part for this review, so the review's practically done. We just gotta film the toy shots, if that makes sense. So we are making good time on this. All right, here we go. Yeah, if anyone hasn't joined the streams before, and you know, if you're curious about my filming process, I usually do film uh, the me shots and the toy shots. I fucking messed up the shot by doing that, my bad. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I usually film them separately. So I filmed the me shots today, and we're gonna film the toy shots tonight, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't do that. I feel like I should film the toy shots before I film the me shots. I filmed the me shots today, and I think it came out pretty good. But maybe not as informed as it could have been. But you know what? I could always add stuff later. Anyway, how's everyone doing? Quicksilver, how did you type three S's in a row? It's in slow mode. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Mario Faker says he and Black Arachnia made a good couple. They made a good pair. Um, Transformers Kingdom. Some people were talking about it in the chat. I did watch it and I didn't hate it. I was surprised by myself. The show surprised me. The Beast Wars characters were not that great. I mean, Dinobot and Black Arachnia were fine. Everyone else was just kind of, eh. Uh, they really did Optimus Primal and Megatron dirty, in my opinion. Let's see. Transformers Prime Starscream, Paul Lampano. He's fine. He's fine. I like Steven Bloom. I like the character. I just didn't finish Transformers Prime. I feel like I get that message every day or I, I feel like I get the question every day if I've watched Transformers Prime and I always say that I've seen it uh, but I dropped it when they got into the keys to Vector Sigma arc I got bored with it so there's that Combi says honestly I didn't like the first half of Kingdom but loved the last half yeah it really did pick up I was getting a little annoyed by it in the first few episodes but when they got into the meat of the story that was good there is a part of me though that wishes that they never touched uh, Beast Wars at all because really the weakest part of Kingdom was the Beast Wars characters and not just just because of their voices and that is a wrap for this shot yeah not just because of their voices it was just how they wrote the characters and their role in the story 
clever use of them as plot devices in terms of the whole time travel aspect, but other than that, it could have been anyone else. They didn't have to be the Beast Wars characters. They just felt... It just felt like they were using the Beast Wars characters for uh, fan service and marketing value. And of course, they didn't get the original voice actor, so it was not great. Not great. I don't want to talk I'm smack about... Man. Thank you very much for your donation. We'll be reading that later. Let me see if my chat button works. There you go. It freaking worked this time. Hell yeah. Anyway. Yeah, the Beast Wars characters were not great. They did Dinobot good, though. They did Dinobot justice, but they wrapped up his arc a little too quickly. It is a problem with the show in general is that it's rushed. And if anyone's just coming in, we are talking about Transformers Kingdom while I check out my list to decide what I'm going to film next. So my uh, so the figure turn one is done. Stand adapter. Okay. I'll do it. Stand and adapter. So... Uh, here. Just gonna pop them in. Yeah, that's a question for the chat. Uh, did you see Transformers Kingdom? And if you did, what did you think? What did you think about Transformers Kingdom? I thought it was... Okay. It wasn't horrible. It had great ideas. And I legitimately like what they did with the uh, G1 characters. The Beast Wars characters were kind of shafted, though. I'm That's my opinion. Man. Thank you very much. Turn on my chat message once again. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. How am I going to handle this shot? I'll just do a simple one of these. There you go. Reverse that and it'll look good. No. Yeah, Doom Squash 990. It was average. I agree. Transformers Kingdom was average. I'd give it. I would say 6 out of 10, but there's enough scenes and character moments in the show that. I might be generous and bump it up to seven, seven out of ten. It's not. I, I don't. I didn't think it was excellent by any means. It wasn't amazing or anything, but it was. It was good, and that is a lot more than I expected after hearing that abomination of Beast Wars Megatron's voice. Like I said, I don't want to talk smack about uh, voice actors or anything, but uh, that performance was just not good. Even. Even as Beast Wars, even if you remove the Beast Wars Megatron aspect out of it, just didn't sound good in general. Donabot was okay. Uh, not Scott McNeil, but he captured the character pretty well, and the writing captured the character pretty well. I think it's funny the way that War for Cybertron is written very, you know, dark, very brooding. Uh, philosophical, you could say, everyone's contemplating something at some point, uh, constantly, they're contemplating something, whether it be war, or what they're gonna do next, or their philosophies, or their political beliefs, and all, that's how War for Cybertron is written, and almost every character speaks like that, so, when you bring Dinobot into the fray, the original character already spoke like that, so he fits very neatly, <laughs> within the War for Cybertron's uh, writing style. It's probably why he... probably why he felt the most like his original Beast Wars counterpart. Alright, let me attach... the stand. But yeah, they wrapped up his art way too quickly. Ah, there we go. Adapter's a bit tight here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Dan Corpus. No Waspinator, which is a shame. They really shoot out the clowns for that one. I mean, they kept Scorponok, but he didn't do anything. <laughs> no Tarantulas either. Could you imagine if they brought Tarantulas in? Tar Tarantulas is a Beast Wars character that slept on a lot, but I think he's a, a great villain. 
If anything, he would have been... It would have been appropriate for him to be in this plot. Why wasn't Tarantulas in here? He has connections to Unicron and the Tripedis, Tripedicus Council and all this stuff. They could have done a lot with him. I don't know, though. They, I, I think they kind of combined Tarantulas oh, yes. with Black Arachnia for Kingdom. Oh, yes. And they didn't want to have more than one spider, I guess. But yeah, Tarantulas. Put respect on his name. Yeah. Let's see. Sheep Gamer says because they didn't have a toy of him. It doesn't fucking matter. They didn't even include the fossilizers in the show. <laughs> Isn't that the whole gimmick of the kingdom line? And they weren't even in the show? Who cares if they, they didn't have a toy of him? <laughs> they could have put him in anyway. They even had a, a toy of Waspinator and they didn't even put him in. Nothing matters. <laughs> All right. I want to do a turn with this. See if I can. Oop. Yeah, I do like how he looks on the stand here. That's nice. Sanix, the GBMCDFPATF, good name, says the best part is Ultra Magnus T posing. That did make me chuckle, I have to admit. Alright. Do another turn. Which means I get to look at you guys again. Thank God for slow mode, huh? Makes you guys more visible. How you doing? Raging Asura says, Hi Jobby, now considering the ending of your Godzilla and Kong review, is this figure that bad? Uh, without spoiling anything, no. I do not think this figure is bad at all. I mean, you could kind of see it yourself, the jet mode is pretty damn good. And once we get into the robot mode, I could talk a little bit more about that. I just don't want to give too much away from for the full review. But yeah, I don't think this figure is bad. Even though it's lacking a critical joint. Yeah. And I do talk at length about that in my full review, so look forward to that. I do hope to release the full review sooner than you might think, so look forward to it. Uncontrollable Fire says, Notice me, Senpai. You've, you've been noticed. I wonder what that does to you, getting noticed by a D-list niche internet micro-celebrity. <laughs> it's like my favorite term. That's exactly what I am. Uh, Nimation says, Unique Toys Galvi review when? Uh, and to that, I have to say, welcome to the stream. You must be new. <laughs> Got him. If anyone knows uh, what I'm talking about, you can let him know. Yeah, uh, whoop. The hell? I lost, I lost signal with my background music here. Jesus Christ. I'm These goddamn earbuds man. are not that great. Anyway, I can't hear the donations, but... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let me charge up my I'm earbuds real quick. Man. I can do that, right? <laughs> you allow me that on my own stream. Figure turns just about finished. Here we go. Yeah. I think someone in the chat said micro celebrity is a bit too generous. I agree. It's just I haven't heard a better term besides that to describe people who are famous within a very, very specific non mainstream field. All right, let me stop the turntable. But yeah, celebrity is way too generous for for me. That's for sure. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Here we go. Plug I'm a this happy in. Man. <laughs> plug in my earbuds just to charge them so I can use them later. But for now, I am working in complete silence. Feels a little bit lonely. Hopefully, you guys. Yeah, you guys can still hear the background music at least. But I cannot. And I cannot hear the donations. But for anyone donating so far, gotta give big thanks. Definitely helps the channel. You're helping me make more videos and more consistently as well. I hope so anyway. And I will be reading your donations later. So stay tuned. Now yeah, I'm just going to wait for my earbuds to charge up. Okay, let's continue our list. Oh, yes. Thank you very oh, much. Yes. Oh, yes. Go. Oh, yes. So I... Oh, yes. 
A picture. Please. Or details. To, oh, okay. Please. My list is not the most organized, man. but it does work. It has served me quite well for a while. Again, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello. Astro Traniac says, I wish I could donate, but I can't afford it. Don't feel too bad. Just being here and watching also helps me. So, donations or not, as long as you're watching. I'm a and if you subscribe man. for more Jobby the Hong streams, that oh, yeah. helps a ton. Thank you very much. I do like the look of this stand, by the way. It's basically Dinobot stand, but in a very... Well, Decepticon purple. Very nice. Just a bunch of B-roll that I'll probably end up not using, but it's always good to have the option. Which, coincidentally, is how I feel about waist swivels on figures. Although, you don't have to swivel your waist while posing the figures, it's always good to have the option, especially on a figure that costs this fucking much. Have you seen how much this guy costs? Uh, link in the description, by the way. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, oh, yes. What was I gonna do? A picture of Starscream on the stand. There we go. Yeah, any brave souls? Any brave souls want to sacrifice their wallet on the altar of actually one of the best Transformers Masterpiece figures to come out in a while? Which is weird to say, because this guy does not have a waist swivel. It's just how I feel, though. And I'll uh, get more into it in my full review. Yeah, let me do one of these. Can I balance it out? Uh, yeah, that, that's fine. Ooh, okay, maybe... One, two, three, four, five... I'm a happy man! Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Stand adapter. GG's. Thanks, thanks so far, man. Thanks everybody for stopping by, chilling, donating. Fireclaw2705 says, how much of G1 did you see? Uh, actually, not a lot. I'm pretty sure I've said this in a review before too. If I haven't, you can correct me, but I did not grow up with the original G1 series. My main exposure to Transformers G1 was the movie. I actually did go back and watch some of those G1 episodes later in life, like when I was in college, and I had fun with it. It wasn't amazing, of course, the people who think it is, is super nostalgic, but <laughs> it was fun. Oh, yes. It was fun. Oh, yes. But yeah, uh, when I think Transformers man. G1, I mainly <laughs> think of Transformers the movie. So that is my exposure to Transformers G1. Let me pull off my list, I seem to have lost it here there you go all right Ooh, get that out of the way and we are gonna get these effect parts here jonathan vo says question for jobby 2 do you like transformers i hate transformers they're the worst thing ever i i wish i had never laid eyes on them thanks jonathan vo for your question fuck transformers <laughs> excellent question man Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, alright. Saya Mo Degan 12 says, Do you read the IDW comics? I do not. I heard good things. I've been hearing good things for a long ass time too, but I never took the time to read them. I think I read the first issue of Megatron Origin and I liked it, but other than that, no, I, I didn't read too much of the, the, I, did I say IGN? I meant IDW. Sorry about that. IDW Comics. 
Now, IGN, I did read a lot back in the day, but they're kind of garbage. I'm a happy uh, man! <laughs> I'm a happy man! <laughs> Focused up. Yep. All right. Okie dokie. Quicksilver says, so are you going to get Beast Wars Kingdom Megatron? I already have him, just haven't reviewed, reviewed him or even opened him up. I have a lot of boxes in my storage, and some of them are figures that people ask me uh, a lot about. Just gotta find the time to do it. Okay. And then in post, man. we're gonna reverse that and they're just gonna pop in. You know how it is if you've watched Jabby the Hong videos. Welcome, by the way, if you're just coming in, we are currently filming. Uh, details. Okay, here we go. I'm just looking at my filming list right now, my shot list. All right, here we go. Get this off of here. Cooper Trooper says, don't mean to be impatient, but when are the DDLC streams coming back? I'm glad you asked that. Sorry for the delay. I do want to stream that this week if my friends are down. If they're not, then it'll have to be delayed again. I appreciate the enthusiasm because oh, yes. I love that game. Oh, yes. and I want to show my friends to... I want to take my friends to the ending with my Doki Doki Literature Club playthrough. So look forward to it. We will finish it at some point, though, whether it be this week or next week. No later than next week. I'll say that. I, I really hope that they're down, though. I really hope that they're down for Friday. Okay. Let's see. Just deploying the landing gear right now. The Sweet Vlogs asks, what's your thoughts on black licorice? Not a fan. I don't like licorice in general. Maybe it's oh, yes. because I've always had the grocery store licorice, oh, yes. like Red Vines and Twizzlers. And I've oh, had yes. the black version of, of those. Oh, yes. Maybe any licorice enthusiasts would say that's not real licorice, but that's my only exposure to it, to it and I'm not a big fan. Okay. Gonna do... Set up the shot. MF Molter says, you ever think about making an LSD dream emulator man. playthrough <laughs> drunk job? No, I never thought of it. But could be fun. Don't have it, though. Would have to ironically emulate the game if we were going to play it, because I hear that the actual copy is hard to get. Which would make me feel bad because I have a real PS1 that I could uh, that, that could be used, you know? Okay, let's see here. Boom. Cool. I'm a happy then man. We're gonna do some detail shots of this Megatron gun because it actually does have a lot to look at here. Anakin Skywalker says, when this figure is in robot mode, are you going to have MP36 oh, yes. Megatron choking him? I'm oh, trying yes. not to spam Jobby. Jesus Christ, you have to... There, there's That's an important question that must be answered, isn't it, Anakin Skywalker? Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not, because there's no choking part. There's no choking part, and it's a missed opportunity on Takara's parts. They did not include a choking part for Starscream. Even third-party companies did that. Yeah, so no no choking part, but don't worry, there will be Transformers references with Megatron and Starscream. Just you wait, we're gonna film them on stream. By the way, thank you for donating, everybody. If you're just donating, let me just put that in again, just to let y'all know. Yeah, I'm completely uh, headphoneless right now, so I can't hear when donations come in, but I'm charging my earbuds right now, so. When they get charged, I'll, I'll put them back on and then I'll be able to hear when you've subscribed, when you've donated. Stay tuned. Now, this is a good little gun here. 
Takara can do right. Takara is capable of making good shit. That's what I meant to say. What's weird though is that the uh, attachments are not removable. Not my favorite. I'm a happy man! Wish they were. <laughs> there we go. Good enough detailed shots. Uh, Carter G says, are you going to review any more Transformers Studio series? I don't ha feel the need to, but if enough people ask for it, I might. Revan148 says, MP52 neck can extend so you don't need a choking part. Good point. We can try to engineer a choking scene then, actually. I didn't even think about that. Thanks for saying that. Okay. Isn't this a ridiculous design choice here? So you can plug Megatron underneath Starscream, which is cool, right? But if you plug in Megatron, you can't plug in the stand adapter. So what the hell's the point? You're just gonna lay him on the floor and it doesn't look as impressive. That's weird. That's weird, Takara. That's like strike one out of 50, by the way. Kind of feel similarly about this figure, how I feel about Kingdom. It's not bad, but it ain't perfect. I don't love it. I kind of do love some aspects of it. Just like Kingdom. Yeah, but overall, it's just kind of... It's it's flawed, but it's good. Oh, yes. If that makes sense. Oh, yes. Yeah, I keep saying I don't want to spoil my full review for this figure, but... There's gonna be inevitable tidbits from the full review that come out on this stream, so... If you guys are looking forward to that and you're joining us here tonight, you're gonna get a little bit of a sneak peek on my opinion. <laughs> on my full opinion. Let's see here. Okay. Gonna use that shot for sure. Alright, now let me unplug that. And I wanted to do this. Real name says it's good but pricey, just like Megatron. Yeah. But Megatron is a little more than good. I think Megatron is excellent. Uh, very little flaws, very little issues that I have with this figure. Uh, the back was an issue, but I got a third-party attachment that clears that right up. And no English voice clips, I also got a third-party attachment that clears that up. Where are they? Here they are. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, yes. He's good. Oh, yes. He's great. Megatron is excellent, but pricey. Starstream is good, but pricey. That's the key difference there. I wouldn't say Starscream is on the same level as Megatron. Both in canon and in toy form. Haha. <laughs> okay. Get the jet out of the way. And get the gun in here. I want to attach the effect parts onto it. Let's see. We getting lag? I don't know. Ouija guy says lag, oof. If no one else is getting lag, then... Uh, Ouija, oof. I recommend that you refresh your browser. That helps individual issues with lag. Okay. Let's zoom in. Let's plug in the effect parts here. Awesome. Really cool effect parts that this figure comes with. There we go. Nice. Oh, yes. This one. Oh, yes. Not as impressive. But it works. This one. OK. 
Okay. Cool. Matt Bandicoot says, Yo, Jobby, what's your opinion on Beast Machine's designs? Not my favorite. Not my favorite. They're a bit ugly. The toys were not great either. But they are somewhat nostalgic just because I grew up around that era. I had a Ultra Class Night Scream, right? The Bat? I have no idea why he was Ultra Class, but he was big. He was a big and ugly emo boy that shot discs out of his chest. And I am not talking about depth charge. <laughs> yeah, that, that figure was disgusting, but it was a it was a nostalgic toy for me. Just getting a shot of the effect parts on the Megatron gun. There you go. Because I can't attach it to the stand, like I mentioned before. Megatron blocks the stand adapter. Frickin' dumb. Okay. Ah, look at this. Going to set up this shot to plug in those thruster effect parts, which are fantastic. Good stuff that Takara is pulling off here. Let's see. Okay. Royal Rotom says, do MP effect parts work with War for Cybertron? I have no idea, actually. They might. John Real Zero One says, did you watch Armada? Starscream was great in that show. I didn't, but I hear that a lot. Starscream was essentially the Dinobot of that show, from what I understand. But no, I never watched it. Uh, I did have the toys, though, some of them. Now, um kind of dropped off watching Transformer stuff during the Unicron trilogy, but I was still big on the toys. Yes. Doc says, what's your favorite Transformers figure you own? Happy man. If we're talking official, <laughs> might be between MP43 Megatron, which is Beast Wars Megatron, MP36 Megatron, which is G1, or Dinobot. It's hard to pick one favorite, just because I have a lot of them. Now, third party, Unique Toys is definitely in the top five. Any of the Unique Toys figures, pick, take your pick, you know. They're in the background chilling if you can see them. Can you? <laughs> I'm a happy man! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the chat, the donation. Let's see. Ram Re... Well, our man Reeve says, which of your reviews would you say you like the most for whatever reason? I gotta give it to SH Monster Art Shin Godzilla. Although it's not my most popular video and a lot of people's opinions are mixed on that video, I had a lot of fun making it with my friends and editing it was awesome. The song that we made for that video, we put a lot of work in it. Omar did a great job. Omar, you know my friend Omar. I'm a happy man! 
He did a great job at mixing and mastering that Who Will Know acapella. And it was a very personal video to me. I think second favorite is nice because for similar reasons, I worked hard on it, thought a lot about it, and it was just fun to make in general. Let's see. Yeah, if you notice, my favorite videos are not on my popular pages tab on my main channel. People don't like that stuff. People don't like the crazy stuff, which makes me sad. But, you know, you gotta you gotta roll with the punches. Uh, what was I gonna do here? Okay. Get this guy on the stand. And plug back those thruster effect parts. Track the landing gear. And let's see. That <laughs> Cybus says, What actor is your favorite Spider Man? I think Tom Holland is an overall good Spider Man. He's a good Spider Man, good Peter Parker. Uh, Toby has a special place in my heart. Just because I grew up with those movies. But his Spider-Man is a little bit awkward. <laughs> it's okay. Toby, Toby's not horrible. Like a lot of people like to say. He's just a little awkward. Which is fine. Alright. Trying to get a shot of this with the thrusters plugged in. Andrew Garfield, uh, too cool, <laughs> too cool, because Peter Parker is supposed to be a nerd, you know, Andrew Garfield's a little too, too cool for school, he skateboards, oh, yeah. he has a cool camera, oh, yeah. and is, and is really attractive, <sighs> but his Spider-Man was pretty good, very snarky, borderline mean, okay. I'm a happy man! <laughs> Thank you. Let me push that button. There you go. Okay. Ah. And this one's a bit of an easy shot here. Get this figure out of the way. And here we go. The card. One, two, three, four, five. Right. And the back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Cool. And my favorite shots. The panning stuff. Let me just move that. Fat Kid oh, yes. on the Moss says, what do you think of the Masterpiece oh, yes. Nightbird? I have no idea since I haven't even taken a look at the Masterpiece RC, which Nightbird is a repaint of. But from the promo pictures, I think the mold fits Nightbird a little more than RC. There's something about that long mouthpiece that Nightbird has that masks the low chest. I don't know, that's a figure that I still have to review. This one, MP52, right? MP52, yeah, this is immediately after MP51, which is RC. So, I gotta take a look at RC at some point. Uh, deploying landing gear, that's what I'm gonna do. Boom. Hmm, 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 hmm. Dan Corpus says, been a fan since Godzilla 2014 era, Jobby. Thanks for sticking by. That's a long ass time. We're almost, we have almost reached seven years. Isn't that crazy? Next month, September, September 27? September 27 or 24th. That's 
the seven year anniversary of that Godzilla 2014 video. Isn't that freaking crazy? Okay, place that down. Let's pan. Get a good zoom in and boom, we pan it. Beautiful figure. Just a good jet mode in general. Close those caps up. I will say though, that the jet mode portion of the review is most likely gonna be fairly short. Because there's not much new to say here. It looks virtually identical to the other Masterpiece Starscream jet modes. But it does look good. And I do want to get a shot of that profile because that is something that I don't like about it. And I do mention in the review. There you go. Just a little... It's not as flat as I would like. A little curvy, which is weird. Don't think that's accurate to the real thing. There you go. Some more of that. Boom. A lot of B-roll, a lot of B-roll. A lot of options. Out of focus, goddammit. Let me redo that. I'M A HAPPY MAN! <laughs> Son of a bitch, stop! Stop! Stop going out of focus, Jesus! Oh my god... This thing... This thing is focusing on nothing! There, that's good. Another profile shot. And let me stand it up, if I can. Yes, I can. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just giving myself a lot of options in the editing room. bottom of it too because that is something I do talk about as well the bottom's not the best but what vehicle mode is right there you go that reminds me actually have you guys seen the third party what is it Superion figure that's coming out I think it's called Dream Star Toys I forget what they're calling that combiner, but that looks amazing. I have not gotten my pre-order in yet, and I should. Because that is something I am very interested in. And I bring them up, because the jet modes on those guys, except Silverbolt, are super clean, even from the bottom. Cleaner than this. So that means I'm going to have a raise in standards with my vehicle mode kibble. And I'm a double check happy my list man. here. <laughs> Okay, we gotta do the features now. Open up this cockpit. Get a detail shot of that. Uh, the radar. And the thrusters. Focus up, please. 
Not quite, damn it. Okay. All right. Enjoy my foam backing for now as I mess with this figure. You can always look at the main camera as that is happening. Mayhem says, what video will you do for a 500,000 subscriber special? Got no idea. Don't even know when I'm going to reach 500,000. Might take a while. I think we're at 423 or something like that. So I'll give it about another two months. <laughs> I'm not growing that fast, got to be honest. Uh, could call that complete. I'm just looking at my shot list right now. Here we go. I know what I'm going to do. Get Megatron here. Set my camera up so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm a happy man! <laughs> there you go. Now I'm getting Megatron. Basically, the relationship in a nutshell. Three, four, five. Nice. Don't even know if I'm gonna use that. Just a funny idea I had. One with my mascot. Chunky Crocodile 100 says, how are you, Jobby? I am good, thanks for asking. Just trying to get this video done faster than usual. Because the algorithm does not like inconsistent uploads, don't you know? Now I want just a few shots of the jet by itself. Use that for thumbnail purposes or just to fill out the space in my reviews. get some more shots on the stand don't want to waste the opportunity Julian Murillo says hey Jobby how do you edit your videos for your channel it's a good question and I have a good answer check out my editing streams that I have done on this channel I've also done some of them on my main channel as well but they should all be in a playlist that I made on this channel my editing streams go check them out get a behind-the-scenes look at how I do that stuff. I've done quite a few of those streams now, and I want to do more in the future. Look forward to it. I think I might stream some of the editing process for this figure, actually. Because there will be a lot to edit.
bad. Just kind of a mess at this angle. Kind of the point of that shot. I think that's good enough for that. Let's place the camera back on the tripod because we are done with this mode. If that felt like a little bit, that's because I actually have a whole other shot list for myself that I'm gonna film off the stream. These are the ones that I can do fairly quickly and without too much dead air. If you thought there was a lot of dead air already, <laughs> uh, you you have not seen anything yet until you've seen me transform of uh, transform a figure on stream. That's basically just an hour of silence because I have to get the sounds of the figure as I'm filming, and I'm not gonna do that. I actually already did film the transformation for this figure last week, so got you covered there. Now I'm gonna start transforming this figure into his second mode. And while I do so, I'm going to begin reading your donations and interacting with the oh, chat yes. a little bit. So get ready. Oh, yes. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ugh. Shifting position. And let me see if my earbuds work now. So I can catch donations as they come in. Let's see here. Gotta find the beginning of the donation list. Oh. Okay, seems seems all clear. The earbuds seem all clear. Let's see here. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, Thank yes. you very much for subscribing, by the oh, way. Yes. Subscribe to Jobby2 for more streams. Possibly in increased frequency. There you go. I can hear. I can hear the beautiful background music, royalty free jazz. And. Let's see here. Uh, here we go found the beginning of the shot list or the donation list and I could show you guys might as well Whoa. actually uh, let me find the let me find the web page with the donations stay tuned Damaki Desu asks, Jabi the Hong, do you think Takara masterpiece figures are a hit or miss or just straight up trash? Hit or miss. They're not trash. Most of them aren't, anyway. They could be, though. But, yeah, they could be excellent. They could be bad. All right, donation time. Donation time. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Hey. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Thanks everybody for subscribing. Ah, fuck it. Just don't say anything weird while I look at you. Oh, you know what I can do? <laughs> Let me lock the UI. There you go. What monitor is that? Oh, it's my... It's my big one. Dang it. I'm a happy man! <laughs> Thank you. You donated at the right time. We are just about... ready... to read donos. There we go. Welcome. There you guys are. Axonado with 199 through the Super Chat says, Hi, Jobby. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Just a little tired from today just because uh, it has been quite busy for me today. Let's just say that. Akihisai is back with $5 through the Streamlabs. Double thank you. 
Uh, the star stream in the thumbnail is kind of poggers. Oh, yes. NGL. Oh, yes. Indeed he is. <laughs> Out in oh, yes. Uh It's oh, funny yes. though. When I saw that face that star stream had, my first thought wasn't poggers because I have brain worms. I thought O oh, face. Anyway, Alden Sin of Satan with two dollars through the super chat. Hey Jobby, thought I'd join in to say hi and vibe. Thanks for stopping by. Cartoon Cynic with five dollars through the stream labs. No goddamn waist swivel. This figure is too goddamn expensive to have no waist swivel. I did like how Beast Megs fights in T-Rex mode a lot. Don't think that happened in the original show a whole lot. Uh yeah, that's true. Both of your statements are true. This figure is too hard, too expensive to not have a waist swivel, by the way. I was supposed to be transforming this, so let me start doing that. Let me read a question first, and then I'll continue transforming it. I do not know how to read that, but thank you for $1.99. Storm Titan with $4.99. Uh, Beast Wars of Megatron just felt like a fanboy simp minion in Kingdom. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, character derailment of the highest order. I kind of like to think about it as a alternate universe version, which it essentially is, right? That is the logic that the show is operating on. This is a divergent timeline. So the characters are not what they seem, but it might have been, it might have went a little too far in that direction. Yeah, I just thank you very much. I, I just um, yeah, I really was not a big fan of what they did to Beast Wars Megatron, both in voice and in personality. Just not appealing, not not a fun character. Just sort of annoying and forgettable. Optimus Primal, too, to a certain extent, uh, but not as bad as what they did with Beast Wars Megatron. But, but still, not not oh, good yes. either. Oh, yes. I think Beast, I think Optimus Primal was, in my opinion, too mean. <laughs> but like I said, it does make sense if you consider it, cons consider the fact that it's an alternate timeline, separate from the original Beast Wars timeline. And the voice acting for Primal wasn't horrible, it just doesn't sound like Primal. Same thing with Megatron. Except Megatron's acting was horrible and did not sound like Megatron. Whoopsie. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Caro93 with 666 through the Streamlabs. Double thanks. Uh, oh, yes. When are you going to stop avoiding the oh, obvious yes. and continue your food reviews? In all seriousness, oh, yes. though, your boat noodle review oh, is yes. mad underrated. That means a lot to me. I appreciate it. I like how that video came out. YouTube didn't, though. The video got demonetized because their bot thought I was saying something that I wasn't saying, and the subtitles reflect that. That's a little fun game. Go to my boat noodle review on my main channel and turn on subtitles and see what YouTube thinks I said, and I can't contest it because they're fucking assholes. So, there you go. Made me not want to do any more of that. It's like, it's like they didn't like my attitude or something, so they flagged me for no reason. Fucking sucks. I'm I do like the how man. that video came up, though. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Coffee text with a Canadian 699. Waiting for my own 52 still. Should arrive this week. Definitely going to use your video as a reference for transforming this delightful looking... F-15. Uh, I appreciate that. And hopefully the wait for my video won't be that long. I appreciate it. Appreciate your patience, everybody. Also appreciate anybody who watched my last review, the Godzilla vs. Kong video featuring Stinky Blue Rat, who I do believe I saw in the chat. So if you do see him, say hi. <laughs> Good old Stinky Blue Rat. Yeah. Let's see. Coffee text with Canadian 699. I read that. Dortanium with $5. Kingdom dropped Dinobot on his head. He lost his honorable nature in exchange for practically blind loyalty to Purple Megatron. That's 
not quite true. He defected in the end, but perhaps he defected too late. But no, Dinobot, I, I did not have a problem with the characterization of Dinobot in Kingdom. I thought it was pretty faithful. It, it felt like something the original Dinobot would do. He acted consistently. Uh, at least that's my take on it. And I love that character, so. And the voice, while it wasn't my favorite and did not sound like Scott McNeil, uh, was okay. The guy did fine. He did the dialogue justice, at least. I hope. <laughs> Don't want to give away too much, but I, uh, I probably shouldn't be talking that much about that guy's delivery as Dinobot because I have my own task ahead of me. <laughs> if that makes sense. I think I mentioned it in a previous stream that me and TFI Creations are going to be working together again and he casted me in a particular part and I'm nervous about playing him. So, that's all I'll say. Uh, Wampy Wamperson with $5 through the Super Chat. How does this figure fare against Meteor? Shiza! I lost my, my brain for a little bit there, and I transformed him a little too much because I actually wanted to transform him into a second mode, not his third mode. His second mode according to the instructions, and you'll see what I mean in a second. Anyway... Um... I still like Meteor a lot, but there's a lot that this figure does that is better than Meteor. I like how this figure looks more. And... I don't know, I'll have to get back to you on that. I do go into it in my full review, so... Yeah, I, I do compare them at certain points in my full review for this figure. So if you wanted to hear my Starscream comparison, you could wait until that comes out. But yeah, they both have their pros and cons, I'll say that. Alright. Fix my mistake. Uh, the Drifter with what is this? Australian $20 through the Super Chat. Thank you. Hey, Jobby Mate, how are you? Going just curious what happened to your Make Toys Howling Meteor, and if you show up on your Starscream review, since he's the last cartoon accurate Starscream figure, he is right there on my couch. Oh, you can't see him. I was blocking. There they are. Boom, boom. That's Howling... That's uh, MP11. That's Howling Meteor right there. So, yeah, they'll show up. What? Donated five dollars through the Streamlabs. Double thanks, Jobby. I think it would be cool if we kissed. Haha. <laughs> uh, not during this time, buddy boy. Better get vaxxed. <laughs> Robin Noodles with one ninety nine through the super chat. I love you, Daddy. I'm fourteen, by the way. God bless. Uh, Chris E B Z with five dollars through the super chat. Thank you. Four and one with four ninety nine. F for my guy Tigatron. First his model was a reskin Cheetor, then his voice wonky. And his girl gets taken by a spider. Not to mention by Dinobot as well. Weird chemistry between Dinobot and Air Razor. I don't know what was going on there. It was nice though, but yeah, they did they did Tigertron. They did Tigertron a bit dirty. I, I really dislike the direction that these actors were given for their Beast Wars characters. Did not match the characters at all. The only people who got it right was, as I mentioned before, Dinobot, Black Arachnia was fine, uh, Rat Trap was fine too, actually. He didn't get a lot to do, but he felt like Rat Trap. Other than that, not, not great. I still say, though, out of the entire show, I think all three shows at this point, um, Megatron, G1 Megatron is still my favorite aspect of the, the, the whole series. They did that character really well. And honestly, Optimus Prime uh, improved in this third season too. So, yeah, gotta give props to Rooster Teeth on that. Really like, I really like the idea of Galvatron coming back and getting into conflict with Megatron and the Autobots and Maximals and all that. That's a great idea. They just didn't develop it as much as I would have liked them to.
What's with $5 says? Can I just get a little smooch? Nah, bro. Show me your card. Wear a mask. <laughs> uh, let's see. Deskun with MYR790, whatever currency that is. Thanks for that. What about transforming Gundam Kids? I'm a happy man! What about him? Thanks for your donation. What about transforming Gundam Kids? What is there to say? I like them. Did you, did you want me to say anything else about them? They're cool. They're fine. It's not... I guess I have to say it again. For like the 50th time. I don't hate Gundam model kits, it's just that they take up a lot of time. And time that I don't have anymore. Not like back then, where I didn't have a social life, didn't have friends, didn't have anywhere to go to. Didn't have any commitments or anything, it was just me and the channel. Which is how I got two videos out a week back in those days. Because I had no life. And unless you want me to have no life, then... You gotta be okay when I upload. <laughs> With, with long wait times in between. Because <laughs> it's still a one-man show. Although, like I did mention earlier in the stream, I do want to upload more consistently than I have been recently, and I apologize for the lateness of some of these current videos. I'm trying to improve that for this month. But yeah, uh, not never gonna do daily content. Never gonna do uh, two videos a week, either. Just don't, just can't feasibly do that anymore. Uh, Kami the Kami with a Canadian 699. A Have you built man. any gun club just to enjoy the build? Thank you for your donation right there. And thank you for the question. Sure. That was, that's what I did before I started the YouTube channel. I built a lot of gun club kits before I even set foot in this damn hell site. So yeah, plenty. Plenty of kits that I've built that I haven't reviewed either. That's for sure. Fucking Christ. In, you bastard. What the F? All for a mode that's just a lame joke by Takara. Jesus. Okay, the blue line. Blue Slime Guy with $5. I feel like you're cursed with figures. Got a few previous review TF and they are in good condition. Especially GVK figures. Good for you, man. Hope you enjoy them. Uh, TF review with $4.99. Bro, what do you think of Transformers Prime? It's okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember the response that I always have to that question. I, I, I did say it earlier in the stream, too. It was okay. I watched it for three seasons, dropped it off when they started collecting keys to Vector Sigma, got bored, stopped watching. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe it got really good at, after that point, but I can't help how I feel. I just got bored with it. Let's see. Pika with 499. You're epic, and do you have unique toys Nero yet? Shit. Can I? Stop asking. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ray Ramirez with $5. Thank you for the Streamlabs. Hey, Jobby, nice seeing you streaming tonight. By the way, I'm a part of a group of Gunpla enthusiasts called San Diego Gunpla. Thanks. I'll be at a build meet on Friday for the first time. I also have my own Nobel Gundam. See you soon, buddy. Have fun. Have fun. Kenzo Gameplays with $5 through the Streamlabs. I've wondered for a long time what crazy fever dream did you have to come up with Benny Fine? Well, first of all, Benny Fine is a real person. <laughs> and thankfully, I haven't gotten in trouble for using his name. But he's nothing like the real Benny Fine, from, uh, from what I can tell. Um, Benny Fine, the character, the Jobby character, was influenced 
by that time when the Fine Brothers tried to copyright the word React or tried to trademark content with the word React. And I was making fun of it in my um, Digivolving War Greymon figure. So if you want to look that up, the birth of Benny Fine, there, there it is. I thought that was a pretty good video too, but again, not one of my most popular. Say, Kami the Kami with Canadian 279 says, also Chris Chan, what do you think? It's disgusting. I don't know what you want me to say. It's, I, I'm not a Chris Chan enthusiast. I, I haven't really been keeping up with the saga, as everyone likes to call it, or, like, or the quickie and all that stuff. There was like maybe five minutes where I looked in, into it a little bit, like like seven years ago, the, the quickie. And I was like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not into it. So I just, I just stopped paying attention. And then Chris Chan comes out and this disgusting news. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. It's disturbing. It's tragic. And I don't want to talk anymore about it. It makes me feel horrible. Uh, not funny. I don't find that shit funny. Uh, some people do, and they're sick in the head. But you know, different strokes, different folks. We got. Rolando De Paz with one dollar through the super chat. Thank you. Yeah, I'm one to talk about sick humor, right? The shit I've done. Anyway, Re rewind productions with ten dollars through the super chat. Uh, just gonna tune in, listen. You sound enthusiastic tonight. Good luck. Thanks, man. Glad you think so. I'm just a little. I don't know. I'm just trying to be on the quickness, just so I can get these shots done before. The stream is over because I am on a tight schedule. I want this video to come out soon. Don't want you guys to wait another month again for a new video. It's not fair. It really isn't fair to you. It really isn't fair to my revenue. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, brother Malachi with $3 to the super chat. And thank you for your donation. Uh, Autotron reviews with 4.99. Hey Jobby, been here since your MP36 review. You're the best. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, that is a long time. I appreciate that. And finally, after reading a few donations and fiddling with this goddamn thing, yeah, the back for some reason has a tendency to to not collapse. It's kind of precise. I kind of want it to collapse because these are going to be shots that are in the video. People. We're gonna be like, oh, it's mistransformed. Whatever, dude. <sighs> you don't want to wait another month, do you? Let's see. Come on. Ah, you son of a bitch. Hey, <sighs> hey. A little bit annoying. Okay, I think now I can call this mode done. Gotta start filming the... I don't even know what you would call this mode. It's in the instructions, I didn't make this up. That on the table. And I'm gonna set up the camera now so you guys can see it. And so that I can film it. There it is. Yeah, this mode, quote unquote, mode is in the instructions. Yes, it's a Macross reference. Just to show you proof, I have the instructions here somewhere. There they are. Look at this. Oh wait, you guys can't see it. Sorry about that. There it is. Yeah, this mode is in the instructions. Mm. Fucking big ass instruction sheet. Jesus Christ, the car. Can't read Japanese, so I don't know what it says, but 
I'll just call it the Gerwalk mode. Put them across. Okay. And what do I, what shots do I have to film with this guy? Double checking my list here. All right, just the turnaround and some accessory shots. Fairly simple. And while this guy turns around, I could continue reading donations. Let me just test out the shot. There we go. I'm a happy man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Won't work. My chat button won't work. That's weird. God damn it. Okay. Too much. Framing it. Framing it. I think we got a winner there. What? What? What is my camera focusing on? Jesus. You guys can't see the the box, but it's like in the corner for some reason. There we go. Now, there we go. Now it's turning. Let me check out the other donations here. But you guys can't see it, whatever. Maybe it's, maybe it's overrated that you guys can see the donations. What do you think? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm putting too much stake in you guys looking at the donations. Yeah, brother Malachi with three dollars through the super chat. Thanks, Autotron reviews with four ninety nine. Hey, Jobby, been here since your MP thirty six review. I read that one. Uh, Rewind Productions with twenty dollars through the Streamlabs. Thanks, man. Purchasing War for Cybertron Kingdom figures is like buying drugs. You know it will demolish your wallet, but you can't stop yourself. Try buying Transformers masterpiece figures, then tell me about destroying your wallet. Dortanian with five dollars through the super chat. Kingdom's 2-inch Optimus Prime toy is my favorite Optimus and is glued to my dashboard. Well, I actually have that one, the Core Class Optimus. Um, I think that, that could be a good video, the Core Class reviews. Mysterious Senor Hilter with $5 through the Super Chat. Hey Jobby, any hot takes on what happened over the weekend? Also, best combiner team and why is it the Stunticons? Um... I mean, I'm a basic bitch. I like to construct the cons. I also like the protect the bots. That's not a pick that most people say, but the protect the bots were actually my first ever Transformers toy. One of my first ever Transformer toys, if you can believe it. Even before I got a Beast Wars figure, I'm pretty sure I had a bootleg protect the bots set. So if you guys don't know what that is, go look it up. They're a great set of figures. I hear Mastermind Creations is making a new one, and I will definitely get it for nostalgic value. Barricade 146 with Canadian 99 cents. Thank you. And another Canadian 99 cents from the same person. We got Kenzo Gameplays with another $5 through the Streamlabs. Also, as far as I'm concerned, your nice video is your greatest work. I've watched it over and over. I would love for you to take a stab at some short films. Thank you, man. I would love to do that at some point. The day that YouTube incentivizes long video making processes is the day that I'll do that more often. As of now, YouTube wants consistent uploads. And by YouTube, I'm not even just talking about the algorithm. I'm talking I'm about the audience man. as well. <laughs> the Thank you very much. The YouTube algorithm has encouraged an audience that wants that wants instant gratification. And while I can't provide that, I have to compromise with my own self in order to, you know, maintain a certain following, to maintain a certain favor with the algorithm. Although eventually I will fade into obscurity. That is an inevitability. I don't want it to be yet. So I am trying to resuscitate my channel because things are kind of going downhill. Got to be honest with you. But thank you very much for sticking with me, everybody who is on my stream tonight. That was my turnaround. 
Got to take a little break from the donations because I, I don't have to film too much shots for this mode. So let me check my list here. Let's see. Okay. Just a few pictures. Good. Let me get the stand adapter. <coughs> Shit. This thing. This thing is a little too tight. It. God damn it. There you go. Plug him in. Yeah. Cool. Pedro Silva says, what do you mean going downhill? Just in terms of views. Uh, in terms of views and growth, it, it has really been slowing down these past few months just because of, I assume it's because of my infrequent upload schedule. So, yeah, that, that means the algorithm is not pushing my videos into people's recommended and my subscribers that are subscribed are dropping off because they want faster. They want videos uploaded faster than they are right now. So that's what I mean by going downhill. It's, it's very slight. It, it, it's... It's better to take action right now rather than later or else it'll just it'll just be futile. But for now, I, I'm pretty sure I can save it. So that's what I'm going to try to do this month and going forward. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Why do I even tell you guys this stuff? Aren't I supposed to be some sort of role model or or the or the biggest person in the room? Why am I why am I making myself vulnerable to you guys? What the hell? I'm going to regret that later. There you go. Uh And what else did I want? Maybe just that. Fucking silly. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's it. That's it for that Gerwalk mode. I'm a happy Don't need anything man. else. Thank you very much. And adapter uh, with my trusty part separator that I've had for over seven years now if uh, if you know you know right okay I'm a happy man <laughs> thank you very much yeah I'm gonna start reading donations now again what it's already been an hour Jesus time has gone by a little fast okay all right, uh, before I start reading more donations, I'm going to take a quick break. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to go get... Yeah, I'm going to go get a drink for myself. Not alcoholic. I don't want to drink during the week. But um, when I come back, I'm going to transform this guy. And I'm going to continue reading your donations. So stay tuned, okay? I'll be right back. All right. Uh...
Welcome back, everybody. Hope I wasn't gone for too long. Hope you, uh... Hope you're enjoying yourself so far. You entertained yourself. Now we are back. I kind of got a little head start on the transformation here, if you don't mind. And I got myself some drinks. So let me pull one out. God bless America. Some strawberry lemonade, sparkling ice, not sponsored, just delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, that is the bomb. All right. Let's continue writing, reading, I keep saying writing donations. Let's continue reading donations while I get this guy set up for robot mode for the next round of filming. Okay. And yeah, I, I, I guess I, I could just show you the donations again. Maybe, maybe it is a good thing that I'm, that I'm showing you it, right? Let's do that. I'm a happy man. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Here we go. There we go. El Elios with a Canadian $5 through the super chat. Jobby just stopping by to say I appreciate and enjoy your videos. I don't collect toys, but I still watch your toy reviews. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Mysterious Senor Hiltzer with $5. Of the following weirdo Autobots, who's most deserving of an MP figure? Blaster, Perceptor, Wheeljack, Nightbeat. Uh, Wheeljack already has an MP figure, doesn't he? Like an old one. I, I want a blaster, honestly. Masterpiece blaster would be great. Maybe after they do the the inevitable Masterpiece Soundwave 2.0. I don't know. That's probably I'm, I'm probably not making a correct pr prediction. But if they did MP Starscream 2.0, who's to say they won't do Soundwave? And if they do, then after that, they can remold him into Blaster. That would be cool. Perceptor gets slept on as well. Okay. Fast Toys has a third-party sound wave coming out that looks really cool. I didn't put a pre-order in on it, though, because it, they, they sold out already. But I think when it comes time that... When it comes closer to the release date of that third-party figure... I'll get my chance, because that looks... That figure looks great. Anyone know what I'm talking about? I forgot. Acoustic Wave. <laughs> there you go. FT Acoustic Wave. Anyone can look that up if you're curious. Looks like a great sound wave figure. Okay. Da, 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 da. Kevbot, 1995 with $5. Hey, Jobby, enjoying the stream with Ava two weeks away. I'm wondering if you'll be adding the new Revoltech Ray Ayanami to the collection. Cheers! I didn't even know there was going to be a Revoltech Ray Ayanami. A new one. Um, I will have to look into that. And yeah, I am excited for Evangelion to come out. Uh, my original plan was to make an Ava, a another Ava review, but the last one didn't do so hot relatively, so I'm going to hold back on that for now. But I will do another Ava review later, just not soon. Okay. Let's see. Otoshimaru with five pounds. You reckon you you reckon they'll ever make masterpiece figures of the lesser known characters like Orion Pax or Alpha Trion? Ah, oh, that'd be sick. That'll be really cool if they did that. I, I would love to see that, but who knows? Who knows? They don't really sell that well. Eh, you know what? That's not that's not true. They made Nightbeat. I mean Night Bird, <laughs> not Nightbeat. They, they're making Nightbird, so who's to say they won't make an Orion Pax or Alpha Trion, you know? Yeah, they're, they're willing to get weird. That would be cool, though, if they did that. Sneaky Blue Rat! Hey! With 4 dollars through the Super Chat. Thank you. So I heard you think anime is gay. Man, you're really disrespecting your fans. Uh, Pride Month is over. I can say that uh, without legal repercussions. So, yeah. I, I, um... That's my official statement on that. That Pika boy with $5 through the Super Chat. Been watching since 2019 and I love your videos. Thank you for the Who Would Know cover. Love you, bro. Thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoyed my Who Would Know cover. That was really fun to make. I'm a happy man. <laughs> Thank you. Also, another word to you, Sneaky Blue Red, if you're still watching. I, I really did 
enjoy our time together with the video. I appreciate your creativity and uh, not to get too uh, sappy or anything, but I do believe that uh, YouTube needs creators like you. So keep doing what you're doing, Stinky Blue, and you should blow up uh, very soon because <laughs> your shit's funny. Your shit's funny and very creative. And yeah, I wish you the best, man. Thank you for asking me to be in my video. That was nice. All right. Now that that's out of my system. <laughs> Let's see. Anonymous with $5 through the Streamlabs. Double thank you. Hey, Jobby. This is my first time trying to donate to you. Do you prefer simple mainline figures or complex third-party ones? Gotta go with the complex third-party stuff. And even the complex first-party stuff. I like my mainline figures. And I do appreciate how, sim how simple they can be. But if I don't get at least one cut from a figure, then get it out of my face. I'm just kidding. But I do prefer the third complex third party stuff. Unique Toys, man. Unique Toys is a good blend of simplicity and complexity. And I'm really excited to take a look at... You can't see it. I'm excited to take a look at Unique Toys Nero, which I have in my studio right now. Just hold him up again for anyone joining in. I have him. There he is. <laughs> and I will review him soon. After this guy, in fact. Don't you know? <clears throat> you just got the hot scoop. Just by asking that question. I want to review Nero after I review this guy. Let's see. Chaos Capricorn. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Stinky Blue Rat says, man, you're going to make me cry, man. Oh, I, I don't mean I don't mean to. I don't mean to make you cry, but I, I really do mean it. So please uh, keep doing what you're doing, man. It's great. Uh, we got... Uh, yeah, Chaos Capricorn with 13 $10 through the Super Chat. Says, hey, Jobby, any word on when Jobby the movie coming out or Jobby the video game? What about Jobby the Hong the musical? I appreciate any news. No big projects in the works like that, although... It would be really fun to do that one day, but uh, probably not anytime soon. I just don't know how that would work logistically, and I don't know if I have the time for that, balancing out my toy review career. So I'll let you know, though. I'll let you know if I work on anything bigger than this. Let's see. The Drifter with an Australian $10. Uh, got a second question. Just curious what you think of the new Zeta Toy Seekers coming out soon. Oh, man. I don't know why I haven't been talking about them more or why I didn't order them, but they look great. They look great, man. I should probably get them. Uh, was that Zeta Toys? Zeta Toys Blitzwing, right? They did come out. A third, it was a third-party Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie. Looked pretty damn good. What I'm thinking about, though, is uh, st the Cyberstorm. I don't think it's Zeta Toys, but it was another company. They're making a third-party Bumblebee Starscream. And that looks fantastic. Great design from that movie. And oh, I, yeah, I, I would man. want that. <laughs> Add to my Starscream collection. Thanks for your donation. Uh, Cameron Strife with $10. Thanks for everything you do, man. It's nice to escape for a while and not have to deal. Keep it up. Thank you, man. Oroshimaru with five pounds. That transformation looks like Macross Ro Robotech. As I thought, yeah. Pretty sure it is. Pretty sure that's what they meant. And as you can see, I'm almost done with the robot mode. So we're going to start filming for that very soon. But until then, more donations. Oh, also, yeah, his his face did fall off because uh, they're so tiny. You gotta you gotta be careful not to lose them. Titan sixty four with five dollars. Hey, Jobby, been a fan since twenty fifteen, and I love a fellow voice actor's work. Love your star scream. Thank you. Question though, thoughts on Transformers Godzilla IDW? Never read it. Saw some cover art. Looks fucking awesome. <laughs> But never read it, so I, I don't really have an opinion on it. It just looks cool. What a great crossover. I mean, that's basically the crossover you're getting with my channel, right? 
Rewind Productions with $5 through the Streamlabs. Double thanks. Uh, have you got any tips for drawing hands? I'm working on an animation and I'm hung up on this frame. Oof, boy. Uh, hands. I've been drawing for a long ass time and hands still fuck me up, man. But really, I'm gonna tell you what everyone else tells you. Break it down into basic shapes. Um, there was a breakthrough I made recently in terms of drawing hands. I'm sorry, I gotta interrupt my transforming here to, to tell this guy this because it's a good question. I want to impart some drawing knowledge. Now the hand, when you break down a hand for drawing, tends, uh, you tend to see the diagrams where it's just like a flat rectangle, right? It's a, it's a rectangle with cylinders coming out of it, right? But the breakthrough that I recently learned uh, from some diagram, I forgot what book it was, but it was excellent is that not only is it a flat, flattened rectangle with cylinders coming out of it, it's also two lumps, if you can see that. So there's the thumb here, the thumb lump, and then there's the pinky lump. So if you do some construction lines, is this making any sense? I could bring out the tablet right now and show you, but that would interrupt my uh, workflow, so I won't do that. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. But yeah, if you include these two lumps, and this lump here to the, the finger ridge onto the bottom of that flat rectangle. Think about the hand like that. And your drawings of hands should improve. That's all I, I gotta say to you. Okay. The trick is to think in 3D and to think of it in basic shapes. That's all I'll say. There, There's my little tip for artists out there. Got the red shift 7978 with $10 through the Streamlabs. Hey, Jobby, watching your stream? Pretty fucking sick. I was looking through your backlog of older videos and wondered, are you ever going to do any more stop motion type stuff? I understand that it's time consuming. Uh, Voot B was just wondering. Uh, no, I don't have any plans to do any stop motion anytime soon. And yeah, it is extremely time consuming. I have an idea for a gag, but that might not happen in a while. There's like one shot of stop motion in this review coming up when I talk about his fingers. So look out for that. But it's like one second of animation. So yeah, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Yeah, Luzi in the chat says uh, also lots of references to see and practice. That's right. You don't be afraid to use references when drawing anything. Really, it's not cheating to use a reference. That just means you gotta, you know, you gotta reference real life to make your drawings good. And then you include it in your visual vocabulary, in your head, and whatever, I'm just talking art talk right now. Anyway. John Thomas Prime, 84, with $5 through the Streamlabs. Uh, listening to you as I finish up my video on my channel. Love watching, listening to your channel. Keep up the great work and remember, may your collection maximize your spark, but never terrorize your wallet. Thank you for the words of wisdom there. And I am just about done with this transformation. So I'm going to move on to the second round of filming, but keep posting, keep posting, keep asking. I will talk to you guys as I am filming, like I did earlier in the stream. And if anyone's just coming in, welcome, welcome. We are filming this review. I'm a happy yeah, man. Yeah, we, we, we got a lot of donation. Oh, we, we don't got that much donations, but we just had a new one coming up. So I will continue reading them after I finish this round of filming. So let's just get this done. Stay tuned everybody who's donated thank you very much for your generosity always helps helps me continue this thing this thing that we call jobby the hong and jobby 2 you could kind of see a problem i have with the figure already i unfortunately have the loose ankles that a lot of people talk about with this figure doesn't ruin my enjoyment of the figure this part I'm does a better a job at doing man. that, <laughs> but it is annoying and I have yet to attempt to fix it, but I'm sure if I did, it wouldn't be a problem anymore. So let's yeah, thanks for your donation, by the way, let me put this big ass thing back here, get it later and let's look at my list. 
I'm a oh, happy man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh my god. So much donations. We'll be reading them. Just you wait. Thank you, thank you. All right. I think we are doing a figure turnaround. That is correct. So let's set up the shot. P.S. or P. Sanozaki I.R. in the chat says, does it have completely no waist swivel or just the small one? None. Absolutely none. Zero. Nada. Zip. Nothing. Good day, sir. <laughs> no waist swivel at all. Which is ridiculous. But my opinion is a little more complicated than no waist swivel bad. And you'll see what I mean when you watch the full review. There's a few things that I have to say about that. Uh, if anything, this figure has kind of changed my preconceptions about what makes a good figure. You know? It's really challenging my worldview. That's right. A Frickin' overpriced toy is challenging my worldview. And that's something. There you go. Balance him out. Get him standing. He looks good. Now frame the shot. Doing our figure turn. Foot is getting cropped. Don't want it to get cropped at all. Wing is getting cropped. Could back up a little bit. Wing is barely getting cropped. I could move up like that. And that is looking good. Gotta turn on the turntable and I'm gonna look at you guys. Alright. There you go. Okay. What are you guys saying? Justin Pritz says the back looks pretty good so far. Indeed it does. The best, one of the best modern masterpiece backs for sure. Yeah. It, they, Takara did a good job with that. Gotta give him props. Hey, you know what? Nah, never mind. I was gonna continue reading donations, but I, I think... I think going forward, I would rather have donations on the screen as I read them. Makes more sense that way. Gives people visual reference to what I am reading. Um, let's see. Slavic Scum says, how much did was this figure again, Jobbert? It's like 200 something. 230? Around there, $230. Fucked up. Uh, plus shipping, so. Yeek. Ano Hitori says, Thoughts on Black Arachnia kissing Air Razor in Kingdom? Cute, a cute AF. <laughs> cute AF. Yeah, that was nice. La la la. Astro Hyena 17 says, It doesn't even look like it transforms. I wouldn't go that far. From the front, definitely. But from the side view, as you can see right there, you could see the kibble folded up back there. And it's not the worst, but it's... Uh, it's still not perfect. I uh, I effed your mom while you slept. Great name there, buddy. Says, great. More Transformers reviews. Deal with it, dude. It's my favorite type of figure. I'm going to review what I like. And sometimes, if you're lucky, review what I don't like. Uh, yeah, there you go. Deal with it. Let's see. Tyen Hickam says, hey, Jobby, just tuned in. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, nice. Old theme song playing right now. Okay. Stop the turntable. Boom. All right, check my list. Mark that as done. All right, this one is going to be a little more involved. So... Let me grab the figure here, pull off his face, and I'm gonna do an accessory shot with all the faces, so... 
Gonna pop them in. It just sounds weird when I say it like that, but when, once you see it, you, you'll know what I mean. I'm gonna pop in the faces. I'm gonna pop in the faces. <laughs> gonna make sure I get every one. They're small. Just gotta be careful not to miss any. There you go. Soundwave the Mighty says, okay, this is still going on. It might go on for an another hour, buddy. Because filming takes a long ass time. And after I finish what I want to film tonight, I'll still have more to film tomorrow. So I won't stream that part though. Yeah, filming takes a long ass time. Which is why I can't do daily content. I've, I've seen people ask for daily content. You guys are actually psychotic. Let's see. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, gotta arrange them. I'll arrange them. I'll arrange them vertically. How about that? And I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to uh, put the camera even more down, like that. There we go. Okay, if anyone's leaving, have a good night or day wherever you are. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're just coming in, welcome. If by happenstance you are coming in and you don't even know who I am, I have a toy review channel and I'm filming a toy review for that main channel. Jobby the Hong on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Jobby the Hong. Links in the description. God damn it. Look how tiny these things are. This is annoying. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. This might not work. Because they're leaning back. And you could barely tell what the faces are. All right, that looks better, but we the camera is like pointed straight down now, which is insane. Yeah. I could just do a string like that. All of this for not even a second of footage. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? There you go. Okay, that looks good. Let's start filming. Lock the focus so I don't pull my hair out. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks for donating, guys. I'm gonna read all of your donations later, so stay tuned. If you donated and I haven't read it yet, stay tuned. I'm gonna try reading all of them. Apologies in advance if I miss one because sometimes that just happens with Streamlabs and YouTube. Sometimes it doesn't show me. Why? Why? I don't know. They don't show me all of the donations sometimes. All right, that was that was a good shot. Right now I want. I want all of the faces, a shot for each of them. And where is it? There we go. Neutral face. Yeah, 
Here we go. Shuyun 1980 asks, Jobby, have you seen Transformers Prime? I I only read that question just to show you guys how often I get asked this question. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> if anyone was here when I said it, let them know. Okay, let's get the tripod out of the way. There's my wardrobe. Hello, Benny. And you gotta film his face. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, switch his face. You guys can't see it. Enjoy the view of the background. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> <Star -scream. laughs> This figure has great faces, by the way, just gonna say. So good. <laughs> and... It's Alfred02 says, Hey, Jobby, not. Are we okay? I just got a notification from OBS that, uh, that we disconnected. Are, are we back? Hello? We good? <laughs> fucking. Fucking OBS. Okay, thank you for confirming. Let's co let's let's continue. God damn it! Little lapse of connection there. Don't know what happened, but glad to be back. And there's his <laughs> scream. Let's continue. I guess right now, if you guys are lagging, uh, try refreshing your browser, see if that works. Should help. Because there are instances of individual lag. Just letting you know. Got a laughing face. There you go. Got a... Oh, everyone's favorite. Face. I'm a happy man. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll be reading your donation later. Here's everyone's favorite. Uh. Don't even know what that expression is supposed to be, but it is fun that they included it. And my favorite, my favorite, not everyone's favorite, but my favorite. How does it feel, mighty Megatron? Yes. That's awesome. Okay, that's all the faces. Now let's do the stand. Um, hmm. what was I gonna do? Yeah, let's just do a picture of him on the stand. That makes more sense. Yeah. Soundwave the Mighty in the chat says, Do you like. 
Thunder Manus or Thunder Erebus. Which one is... I reviewed one of them on the main channel. I reviewed one of them. I forget which one. The Nemesis Prime one. I think that was Erebus. Really like him. Yeah, that was a great figure. That was a long time ago, too. Damn. Bring it back. Bring it back memories. Son of a bitch, dude. Ah, frick. A thing. It's always a bitch to get that connected. That stand adapter, but that's good. Means he won't fall off the stand. And the stand is back here. KT says you watched that new He-Man cartoon. It's not a He-Man cartoon, right? It's Masters of the Universe cartoon. It's not He-Man. He-Man's name is not even in the title, which means they, it gives free reign for him not to be in the majority of the show. Uh, but no, I, I haven't seen it. But I've heard people's complaints about it. I'm curious to watch it, though. Uh, I, I will watch it at some point. Probably with friends. There we go. Starscream on the stand. Stinky Blue Rat says, dude, you are in for a snore fest. Oh, don't tell me that. Ah, oh, that stinks. <laughs> uh, that, that, that's a shame. That's a shame. The the trailer, the marketing was so good for uh, Masters of the Universe. I only saw the first trailer, to be fair. Maybe the other trailers revealed more of its true nature. But it's just shitty. It's just a shitty thing to do to market your show in one way and then have it be another way, it's clickbait. It's essentially clickbait. I know it's a marketing tactic as old as time, but it's never it's never fun. No one ever likes it. So why do they keep doing it? I honestly think if they were more honest about the premise of the show, it would have done it would have probably done better. It would have probably gotten a more positive reception if they didn't just straight up lie about what the show was gonna be. They marketed it as a He-Man show, but it turned out to be a Tila show. Am I right? Like I said, I haven't watched it, but for what I've seen, that's what it is, right? That's, yeah, that, that sucks. It sucks that they, that they did that. Ah, ha, ha! Ender Sage. Ender Sage in the chat says, cough. The Last of Us Part 2. Oop. Wait a minute, I have a button for that. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, that sucks. Ugh. Yeah, that's 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 just not good for anybody. It's not good for the consumer. It's not even good for the producer. Like why why lie about your product? Check out these check out this video with boobs. And then you click it, there's no boobs. What does that gain? What does that gain anybody? Yeah, to be fair, back in the day, YouTube was, uh, YouTube's success was measured in views, so, you know what, yeah, that did make sense. Uh, but, yeah. Fuck clickbait. <laughs> Fuck clickbait. Ooh! Ooh, big, big controversial opinion. Jobby the Hong does not like clickbait. I'm so smart and special and big and strong. Like, comment, subscribe to me for having unique opinions. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try... Getting this guy in some sort of aerial pose, but the stand is not long enough for that. It sucks. Damn, I'm gonna try anyway. That sort of works. Yeah, I mean, everyone has been saying it spawn uh, occasionally. In the chat, but uh, no waist swivel for this figure. But look, doesn't look bad. 
it's really not bad. And it's a shocker that I'm saying that. The worst parts about the figure, well, I mean, definitely the waste wolf, but the parts that I'm pissed off about are things outside of the figure. So the price and the coronation gear situation. Have you guys heard about this? Has anyone heard about the coronation gear situation for this guy? Does anyone even know what I'm talking about? So coronation gear. Shit, I thought I had it in my room. Uh, you know, his outfit during his coronation before he gets murked by Megatron. It's not included with this figure. No, no, no. Instead, and I could be getting this wrong, but Takara wants you to buy basically two of the same figure, just repainted, so Thundercracker and Skywarp, and only then can you mail them and personally request the coronation gear. Now, how's that for paid DLC? Fuck off. That whole thing is definitely going in my full review. You just... <laughs> as de that whole rant is definitely going in my full review. You just got an early glimpse of it. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, it's it, it's 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 a ridiculous situation and and a very shitty thing to do on Takara's part. We talking about Takara or or EA? <laughs> or should it be should it be EA? Or, thank you very much. Should it be EA or or should it be we're talking about Takara or 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 Blizzard? Who's worse with with this bullshit? This paid DLC nonsense. No, it's essentially the whole coronation gear situation is locking a skin behind a ridiculous paywall. Four hundred dollars worth of paywall, might I add. So what game company does that sound like? Is that more so EA or Blizzard or Riot? I don't know, let me know. I don't let me know so I can include that joke in the review. Thank you. EA? Howling Meteor in the chat says Bungie is worse. Are they? Oh boy. Oh, that's even more disgusting. Lance Zalaman says it's even worse than that. It's Japan exclusive. Ah, you motherfucks. I fucking bet that there's that the coronation set is gonna be on eBay for like a thousand bucks. Only for the crown, by the way. Fuck off, dude. That sucks. Yeah, and I, I'm. I like this figure, but I don't like it enough to get the other molds, the other uh, repaints. Sorry. Uh, yeah, not gonna get Thundercracker. Not gonna get Skywarp. This is enough for me. So I'm never getting the coronation gear for this particular figure. And believe me, I've tried to put MP11's crown and cape and and all that on him. It's not compatible. So no bad comedy. No bad comedy. Isn't that sad? All right, let's move on to the next shot. Okay, so uh, the chat seems to be in agreement that it's more so EA than anyone else. So, yeah, EA. Okay. Let's see, let's see. EA, most companies are doing this now. Oh boy. Oh, Sheep Gamer says third party. You're gonna have a field day with with this one. Have you guys seen De Deformation Space DSO one or is it DSO two? I don't know. It's just, look up look up Deformation Space Transformers. You should find it. It's a third party Star Scream that looks fantastic. It also includes a waist swivel. It looks like this figure, but with a waist swivel, if you could believe that. So, I'm looking forward to that one. Hopefully, that one's good. Uh, but until then, this will be my go-to star screen. Yeah. Let's look for Megatron. That's right. I was gonna put Megatron in his hands. Yeah.
Fire Animation asks, does P.O. Box still exist? Because, I don't know, I want to send you something. Sorry to say, it does not. P.O. Box is closed. And it will be closed for a while. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm oh, a man. happy man! Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We'll be reading donations later. Also, God damn it. Megatron does not really plug into his hand. That sucks. Let's see if I can cheese it. Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. Soundwave the Mighty says, This is a snore fest. No one's stopping you from sleeping, man. If you don't like it, have a good night, dude. <laughs> All right, let's see. Did the music just stop playing? Oh my God, it did. Let me put on a song. There we go. Yeah, good shit. Ooh. Okay. All right, motorcycle, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. And let me get the O face, because I think people were saying in the chat that the O face is the face that he makes when he's shooting Megatron, which sounds a lot dirtier than I wanted it to. Fucking Christ. The, the plug does it, the gun does not want to plug into his hand that sucks Jesus ah. I want to get a picture of it at least god damn it Not bad. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. The Hidden Deck says, excited to see the review soon. Thank you. Look forward to it. I'm a happy man! <laughs> Thanks. For anyone who donated, we'll be reading donations later. Just gonna pose him up. Man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I saw that shit. R1 OTS. R1 OTS said, Notice me, senpai, and then immediately deleted his message. You got noticed anyway. Congrats. <laughs> oh, boy. Trying to look for a f face. Go. 
Tristan Ayala says, touch grass today, fellas. Felt the cold touch technique, zero out of 10. Yeah. Grass is overrated. You know, people like to say, touch grass. But have they considered that they touch these? <laughs> uh, no, don't. Don't laugh. That was, that was shit. Okay. That's a good shot with the gun. And I want a shot of the gun on his back. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Fucking snap adapters. Super tight. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I have a weird feeling about this review. Now that I'm uh, sitting down filming this guy, um, I did say earlier that I finished filming my me shots today. So me in front of the camera talking with my glasses and my shirt. Uh, but I'm finding a lot of new things to say during this stream. So tomorrow I might go back and set up again and, and redo a few shots. Like, you know, to include that <laughs> that EA comparison. Have to now mention that the gun does not plug into the hand that well. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that I have to add in. So. I tried to do something new today. You know, film the me shots before I film the toy shots. But I think it works better if I film the toy shots before I film the me shots. So I'm going to do that for the next video. But you know, gotta try something new every uh, once in a while. Mm. Oh. Oh, yes. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, yes. Okay. Jose Chavez says, always need to play with the toy first. I mean, of course. I've played, I ha I've had this figure for like two weeks, but filming it is different. Filming it gives you a new perspective on the toy. And I thought my two weeks of experience with the figure would be enough to really get, you know, into it, get into all my issues and, and jokes and all that. But I think filming it really is the ultimate expression of, uh, of my experience with it. So it does make more sense to film my opinion after I filmed it. So, uh, yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, playing with it oh, off yes. camera is different. Oh yes. So that's something I learned oh, today. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've had this figure for a while, and uh, in my previous streams, I've been teasing this for like yeah, I think over two weeks. So I've had this figure in my room just chilling. I've been playing with it every day, but. Yeah, not to this extent. Okay, no rays in his hands. Kit T Cat says, "My name Jeff." In the chat, funny meme, haha. -ha. Okay, let's. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm a travesty. I'm a travesty. Says got to work in the morning, so gotta go see you. Thanks for stopping by. Whoops. Oh my God, this this freaking figure has a bitch grip. Nothing plugs into his hands. My God, that's shit. It's not enough to lower my opinion on the figure or anything, because uh, most of the stuff is good here. But th this is like, why, why even engineer a feature where he can hold stuff if he if the grip is too loose? It's freaking dumb. God damn! The 
really balancing it out. That is shit. One of the double dual wheel them though, making shit harder for myself. Uh, Haunter Brian zero five says it's nice to see the process to making the reviews. I should watch more of the streams. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate you enjoy watching how the sausage gets made. I know it's not the most um, eventful. It's not the most uh, meme or funny, but I just do it to give you guys a peek behind the curtain for anyone who's interested. Hopefully it helps someone. But just know that everything is made better in post. I'm At least in my channel. Man. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. This feels fucking cursed. Starscream ho holding his null rays is a thing that should not be witnessed by human eyes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Su Suna Tsunami says illegal. Yeah, that's correct. It's also a also a good joke that I should include in the review. It feels illegal for for Starstream to be holding his null rays like that. leaving you with the background here, but I'm just posing the figure right now for the next shot. Yeah, really cool that he has individually articulated fingers. It's a first for this line, if I'm not mistaken. I'll just get that A shot. at the chat right now Joshua says how long ago did the stream start we've been streaming for two hours and 20 minutes thank you for your donation we'll be reading it later let's see let's see let's see let's see Isaac asks did you like what you did watch a prime I did it was fine. It, it wasn't enough for me to continue it, I guess, but it was it was fine. I, I didn't think it was amazing. Who knows, though? Maybe I'd appreciate it now that I'm older. But I, I probably should rewatch that at some point. Because a lot of people seem to love that show. It's a lot of people's Beast Wars, honestly. Transformers Prime. So might be worth rewatching that. I definitely want to rewatch uh, Animated because I remember liking that one a lot. That also came out when I was really young, though, too. Not really young, but 
<laughs> Beast Wars came out when I was really young. I was like five. Let's see. Okay. Then... This one. Just showing you the options of blast effect parts that you get. Cool. Okay, everyone's favorite accessory. An accessory that Takara definitely needed to include to satisfy the hardcore fans. Just set it up real quick. It's Alfred Zero Two says, Hey, Jobby, not sure if this was answered, but what's the Shozy store box behind you? I'm pretty sure I was in the middle of reading that question, but I got interrupted by something. I forget. I probably interrupted myself. Anyway, if you're asking about that thing over there, um, that was a little surprise I was saving for the end. So after I'm, I'm done filming, after I'm done reading donations, I'm going to unbox that to show you guys what's in there. I have a good idea of what it is, but um, I could be wrong. So I'm going to open that. Surprise unboxing. whoop de doo <laughs> So if you guys can stick around for a little longer, then you will get to see what's in that box. Anyway, here's the most important accessory ever. I'm glad Takara included this. His iconic... His iconic drill. My favorite episode was when he drilled Megatron's asshole and Megatron got really pissed off. It was his attempt to make Megatron readable and, and submissive. Okay, let's get the shot. One, two, three, four, five. Get a detail shot of that. So that's just the pan up. Very nice. It's just a drill. This is this is not the drill. Alright, and of course his other iconic hand that Takara definitely needed to include and everyone is going to love and use. The hell, why won't it plug in? Bitch. There you go. Now oh, he's Dr. Claw. Uh, I'll get you next time, catch it! <laughs> Funny because Frank Walker voiced Megatron and also Dr. Claw. Before anyone gives me trivia. <laughs> and of course, every, another favorite, right? Starscream's iconic turd. <laughs> I love Starscream's turd. That was my favorite fucking part of the show. So happy it's in here. <laughs> I seem to have made a duty on myself, Megatron. <laughs> You're an idiot, Starscream. Learn how to use a bathroom. I love playing with my shit. This isn't funny. It's not funny. It's just, it's, it's not, no. I'm fucking, I'm done. This is why the channel's going downhill. There you go. I got the wrong face for him, hold on. Got the wrong face for him. <laughs> Funny doodle feces, Megatron. Oh, yes. oh, yes. 
two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Funny poop joke. <laughs> Not even doing Starscream anymore. <laughs> what voice is this? <laughs> I hate using the bathroom, Megatron. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. That's my new Starscream voice, by the way. I'm gonna be the new leader of the Decepticons. I should be the one to play with shit. Okay, what other accessory we got? <clears throat> got thrusters. Okay. I thought I did that. No, I didn't do that. Let me bring the stand back. Get the stand adapter. Is so tight, always a bitch to plug in. So I'm just gonna do that. You just put your weight on it, you know? Put your weight on it! Yeah, there we go. Get the stand back. There you go. Nixon in the chat says, sounds like Ed, double D. Yeah, that, that's. That's my double D impression. And I figured it out by doing my Shinji impression, and this, and then just making the pitch higher, and then you get this voice. Uh. <laughs> Someone said Kermit the Frog is Starscream too. No, that's more like this. I should be the leader of the Decepticons, Megatron. That's not, that's less Kermit the Frog and more fucking Jordan Peterson. You see, actually, Megatron, the the holy texts have uh, an archetype that substanti substantiates my position as leader. It makes me the alpha male, Megatron. Starscream Peterson. Okay. Gotta plug in these thrusters. Ooh, boom. There we go. That's what I wanted. I am paying it to I've, I've literally been interacting with the chat the whole time. I effed your mom while you slept, which, by the way, is exactly what I did. <laughs> Don't think he's paying attention to the chat. Give him a sec. I am paying it. I, I'm, I'm li I've literally been looking at the chat the whole time. King, Z King Gamer Z Zambrano 2 says, Why is there Show Z store box behind? I also mentioned that earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, just stay tuned for the update on that. Okay. Ah, this shit's a little hard to set up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. Alex Porrini says, then why haven't you noticed me? It's nothing personal, dude. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, Alex Porrini, you're the guy who made that sexy Monica Godzilla Prime drawing from way back, right? Or am I mixing you up with someone else? I don't know. I'm almost 60 years old. Forgive me if I have bad memory. Here we go. Son of a bitch, I dropped the face. Cold red, I dropped the fucking Starscream face with my butter fingers. Ugh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Stinky Blue Red says, dude, I want to give Starscream head, God, God, oh man. I don't I don't know if there's anything uh anything to give head to, Stinky. Crisp, crisp, crisp. I 
I guess you could suck on these little purple nubs. That counts, right? And then... Yeah, that works. That's a good shot. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> There you go, Alex. There you go. I was right. I remember. Okay. All right. Now I'm not looking at the chat because I'm filming. So. But hey, man, if I don't notice you, don't take it. Don't take offense. You know, I I've got work to do, <laughs> which is what the stream is about anyway. I'm I'm filming, and occasionally I look at the at the chat. But if I miss you, it's not because I hate you and want you to die or anything. It's just because I missed you. And there's other people in the chat with you. So don't take, don't, don't feel too bad about it, man. Sometimes, sometimes Senpai doesn't notice you. But that's why you keep, you keep trying and trying again. And if he, do, if he doesn't notice you today, he might notice you another day. And the next... And the next. I'm not intentionally ignoring you. That's all I'm saying. Boom. Whoop. There's my setup there. My messy ass desk. Hello. There's you guys. My two monitors. Boom. Boom. Okay, my... <laughs> I don't know why I haven't been doing this the whole time, but yeah, my, my list here... All right, I did that. I marked my completed items with a GG. My details. All right. Keep the tripod out the way. Gabriel, the person says, please, Jobby. I want thoughts on new leaks for MP Skyfire and Cliff Jumper. Uh -huh. uh, Cliff Jumper. It's it's a repaint of Bumblebee. So I'm not interested automatically. MP40... What the hell designation was Bumblebee? Bumblebee 2.0. Nah. I'm not interested. Masterpiece Skyfire or Jetfire. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And, and he'll look nice next to Starscream here. So I'm, I'll consider getting him. Yeah, so there you go. That's my answer. Forty-five, thank you. MP forty-five, thank you, chat. Okay. Putting him into neutral here. Jobby's got to do what a jobby's got to do. That's right. He say the drag. You want to wait another month for for this review to come out? Then you will forgive me <laughs> if I don't read your chats all the time because I these shots are for the review, don't you know? Okay, but I am trying my best. That's all. I'll, that's that's what I want to say. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. I really gotta like throw his legs back like that because the the ankles ugh sucks. He can still stand, but it's annoying. I might try to fix that tonight. Not on stream, but like like at midnight. Because I don't get enough sleep. Fuck it. Who cares? I'll probably do- I'll probably pull an all-nighter fixing these. Whatever. Boom. Let's do the panning shots. Nice. Hmm. 
Focus. Thank you. Cool. Right. What's your favorite demon from Doom Eternal? Says Goji Rex. Kaka demon is fun. Not the most fun to fight, but just a fun design. Son of a bitch. Forgot to take off that stand adapter. Pull that off real quick before I do the back shots. Fuck. There we go. Get off, thanks. Stories Made Great says, what's your favorite kingdom fig? So far, it's gotta be Cyclonus. I haven't played with the entire line yet, but Cyclonus is um, at the top right now. He is essentially a mini masterpiece figure at retail price, which is fantastic. Get a wingspan shot. Because the wings are fantastic on this figure. Get a back shot. Because you know I'm going to be talking about that. There you go. Sta ah, boy. Ah, boy. The ankles are acting up. The ankles are acting up. Mother... Jesus Christo. Okay. I'm a happy man. Thank you. <laughs> Boom. Okay. just get a shot of the backpack itself jutting out just to illustrate my point like that go okay good good oh Fuck off. Gotta get some headshots now. <laughs> Fuck. Goddamn ankles. Lincoln Miss Prime Review says thoughts on or, or favorite third party figure. That is a toughie, boy. Maybe that one. At least that's one of them. I'm or a happy any one of the man. unique toys, thank you. Okay. Just getting that face shot, getting that face shot, but boom. Cool. Alright, anyone who's donated, and anyone who has a burning question, probably about something of Transformers Prime, <laughs> just stay tuned, we're almost done with my shot list. I will be reading donations and interacting with the chat uh, more in a bit. Just gotta get some poses off. Hey, jo <laughs> that's I'm a happy Go Goji. Man. Thank you. <laughs> Goji Motions in the chat has asked the ultimate question that sums up almost every Transformers related question I get. He says, Hey, Jobby, which Transformer? 
And then I always say, I don't know. <laughs> so there, that that sums up that sums up our interactions when it comes to Transformers questions. Uh, that's it. That's like that's the ultimate. Can't get any better than that. Oh boy, what am I doing? What am I doing? OG Backtrack says I have to go by. Goodbye. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know about you, but this is... This is fucking hot. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, I want it. <laughs> oh, yes. Ugh. <laughs> uh. A lot of people say they like my Starscream voice. Well, there it is. Oh! Lord Megatron, I can't stop shooting! is a shot that is very important actually should be easy to set up okay man warring says jobby can you wish grayson a happy birthday please happy birthday grayson hope you have or had a good one Thank you very much. Focus, you son of a bitch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Oh. Gotta have some fun with this. Is just hear some ratchet clacking. You know what time it is? Uh, no. Yeah. 
Hmm. Just thinking about what poses I should do now. I'm just having fun with the figure. <laughs> We're at that point. I'm just goofing off. Just having a lot of, uh, getting a lot of B-roll for myself for the review. Oh, oh, T-Pose? Got you. Got you, Lightning Alpha. Now that is a beautiful T-Pose. It's a little too smug. He's gotta be blank-faced. No emotion. Frickin' ankles will work with me here. God damn it. Yep, definitely gonna have to fix that off camera. The ankles. pose what you're seeing right now is my desk at least a little bit of it can I zoom out? nope Mini Godzilla too close to co uh, to comfort. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a bad shot. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I pulled off this exact pose with my meteor figure. So it could also be the thumbnail. Okay. Okay. I think that's a wrap for filming at least these on stream shots. Like I said earlier, I do have a whole nother list of shots that I'm going to do off stream, which require the use of sound. So I have to not talk and turn off my air conditioner. That's going to be a sweaty good time. So now I'm going to read your donations. So get ready for me. I'm go I'm a coming. I'm a coming. If you donated, now's your time to shine. If you've been waiting for me to read your donations, you will see me read them now. Here we go. Ah. Looking for the last one. There's Stinky Blue Rat. There's... There you go, Transformation. Watching your stream. Love your content. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yes. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Coulter Wilson, thank you for $5 through the Super Chat. Love your content, Jobby. You helped me smile during hard times. Now for an important question. Who's Evangelion's best girl? Uh, Ramiel. <laughs> Ramiel. <laughs> Who is the, the, that one angel. Look up Ramiel. Evangelion. Best girl. 
Rewind Productions with $5 through the Streamlabs. Never mind the Masterpiece figures. I spent 900 USD on collecting the entire IDW 2005 con continuity so I could create a timeline. Money well spent. Well, goddamn, dude. Ah, I say, I say, I say, I say, goddamn. $900 for a comic book collection. What are you? A fucking nerd? Ha 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 ha. Like, comment, and subscribe to my toy review channel. Ah. Man, talking about spending money, have you guys seen the new Voltron figure? Anyone? Blitzway? Blitzway Carbotics? Voltron? Because if you haven't, it's ridiculous. But it's beautiful. And I can't deny that I want it. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? By the way, I, oh, yes. I pre ordered it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> but, Debbie, it's the same thing as the Cell of Jagokin Voltron. No, it isn't. Look at the limbs. Look at how well hidden they are. <laughs> and, and, they, and each of them has. LED features. It's different. Look at the base. It's different. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not even. I'm probably not even gonna review that figure because it's so similar to <laughs> to the Soul of Jagokin figure that I reviewed a while back. Jesus. Okay. Well, look look forward to pictures of that. I guess. Oh yes. Anyway. Call me Ching with five dollars through the super chat says, "Hey Jobby, let's get some food soon." I actually, want to get food, but not with you. Ha! <laughs> get wrecked. I didn't mean that. Actually, I do. Who the fuck are you? What? With five dollars through the super chat, thank you again. It says, "I'm back, Jobby. We can kiss. I am fully vaccinated." You about to be vaccinated with this? Ethan Burton with five dollars through the super chat. Says, hello, you pig in human clothing. Thanks for getting me interested in Kill a Kill. I love your views and songs. Thank you. And Kill a Kill is definitely a ride. I love that show. The Drifter with an Australian $20. The Super Chat says, got two finale questions. What kind of Transformer design do you prefer? Cartoon robot mode, real world alt mode, an iconic paint job or pure G1 accuracy, and what do you think of Takara trying to forget MP3? Have a good one, mate. Um... Yeah. This is a Transform Element OP leader. This is the best Optimus Prime figure, in my opinion. Uh, best Masterpiece style figure. And I would say that I do prefer cartoon accuracy. And it can be done. You know, enough with I'm the excuses. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> enough with the defenses of Takara saying like, oh, everyone asked for cartoon accuracy. That means they have to make shitty compromises like huge backpacks and no waist swivel. It's like, no, this exists. This exists. Believe it. This transforms and it's, it's great. Anyway. Aki Hisa is back, says, with five pounds, here comes another one. Thank you. Uh, we got Jewish Meme Man with five dollars through the stream labs. Double thanks. Hey, Jobby, hope you're having a good one. If you're planning on getting the Zeta Toys Blitzwing, be careful. The transformation is complex as hell and a little bit painful. Also, any tips for getting back into drawing? I'm a little bit rusty. Um, Use reference. I actually drew for the first time in like two months yesterday and really it's just sitting down with the page and just throwing it out there at least that's what i did i just drew circles i squiggled a little bit drew something structured it wasn't the best ever but it it really just got me back into the feel of things and if you really want to get back into it i suggest looking up reference uh look up pictures you like take from it uh don't publish it of course because that would be plagiarism but learn from what you like uh watch or read or play stuff that you like as well get your creativity going uh that's all i gotta say for that good luck on your drawing efforts we got the drifter drifter with an australian five dollars through the super chat for context mp3 was the first masterpiece starscream figure 
before Takara made MP11 Starstream. Thank you for uh, saying that for the benefit of everyone else, but I knew that because I'm smart. Eh? Connor Carell with $2 to the Super Chat says, Love your channel and started building Gundam. Uh, good luck to you. Have fun. Let's see. Talon Rabando with R2. What's your favorite TF show besides Beast Wars and G1? Animated. Even though I haven't seen it in a while, I remember Animated being really good. I gotta rewatch it. Uh, April Page with $5 to the Super Chat. Hey, Jobby, I'm watching you on a big projector screen. It's so cool. I want to thank you for making my crap Monday a little bit better. Well, I hope it's not in front of a large audience. That would be somewhat embarrassing. I always get embarrassed when people play my videos publicly, even though technically I post them publicly. I don't know, it's some weird psychological issue. Don't ask me for elaboration. Franklin Nagayo with $4.99 through the Super Chat. Hey, Jobby, big fan. I wanted to tell you I'm working on a stop motion test with my Earthrise Primal. Happy to be working on Transformers, same as you. Have fun, dude. Sounds cool. We got Scarlet Scout 259 with 1999. Glad to see you again, Scarlet Scout. Hey, yo, it's me again. Glad to announce that I will be doing more toy reviews. I stopped since I would like get like no views over four months, maybe one or two, but I'm going to try to make my own stuff. Hope I can take off as you did. The best of luck to you, man. Keep at it. Unwa unworn planet with five dollars says no coronation gear for an almost three hundred dollar figure this is crude humor couldn't have said it better myself the I'm raging infernape <laughs> thank you for your donation with 25 dollars through the stream labs i would have double thank you by the way for the stream lab donation I would have been mad about the lack of waist swivel until I realized that all the screamers with the waist swivel took look off in the cockpit. And I don't remember the last time I've seen a Starscream swivel his waist anyway. That's true. It's not, it's not necessary, and Starscream doesn't really swivel his waist, but then again, does, does, that, does anyone? It's good to have the option, man. It's a $200 figure. I would expect the basic articulation points, head swivel, uh, shoulders, elbows, wrist swivels, waist swivel, uh, hip joints, knee joints, and ankle pivots if we're being fancy. Uh, but yeah, it, it is it is the reason why I'm not up, uh, too upset about the lack of a waist swivel because he still looks good and it's still completely functional, but it would have been nice to have it, especially at the price. Rewind Productions with $5 through the Super Chat. It was great to tune in for the night. Hand tip helped me a bunch. Also, I recommend you look up the Blizzard sexism situation. Huge thing. Good night, Jobby. Oh, I know all about that. I know all about that. Like, um, I I do live under a rock, but the rock is not that big. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good night and good luck with drawing hands. Sad boy Requiem with two dollars to the super chat. Bro, Kingdom was a mess. Megatron was a freaking simp. They did him dirty. They did him dirty, both with voice and characterization. Ugh. Almost makes me glad that David K wasn't doing it because even if David K was doing the voice, it would still be a shit character. Just with a beautiful voice. Scarlet Scout 259 with 499. Ran out of space. I won't start reviewing until I get my real grade Ava Mark 6 in the mail, but when it does, I'll get started. Again, good luck. Titan 64 with $5. Hey, Jobby Titan again. Just wanted some advice. You got into third-party Transformers. Got Mastermind Creations Culture recently. How do you keep track of third-party releases? That's an excellent question. Also, uh, have fun with that figure. I have that and have not opened her yet. But how to keep track of third-party releases? Well, I follow a account on Twitter and Facebook called Dimechock. D-A-I-M-C-H-O-C. They are a news, you know, news page for Transformers figures, both third party and official. But it is my primary source of third party information, honestly. And uh, you guys, of course, <laughs> uh, for people who are in the know, they, they also text me or DM me or or tag me in posts. So that's how I figure out a lot of, about a lot of stuff, too. TFW forums as well. There, there's a lot of options, but uh, Dime Chalk is the most convenient for me, at least. Just because you can go head over to that Facebook page and check out the latest news. 
and they update pretty frequently. They also advertise my video, so give a shout. I uh, I appreciate them. Morris voices with ten dollars through the super chat. Can you say super and the review? I still don't know what that means. Sad boy Requiem with two dollars moving into an apartment. You know how to soundproof. Um. This room that I have currently is fairly soundproof, but it's not because I treated it. It's just the building itself. It's got a lot of insulation. The room was custom built. It didn't exist here until uh, three, like... I've been in this house for almost three years, and it was only in the second year that this building was built. So it's completely custom. Uh, but the soundproof stuff, I mean, I hear those acoustic blankets do a good job at that. Uh, there's a lot of videos online to make your own vocal booth, if that's what you're looking for. So there's some options there, but uh, covering your walls in soundproof foam, like I have with my review backdrop, it's not going to soundproof your, your walls. Trust me. Guy No Dollins, 52 with $10. Yo, Jobby, it's going checking in for the night. Just committed to Parkland College for basketball. Looking forward to more reviews so I can stay in the loop while I'm at school. Good luck with that and congrats. Jordi Molino with $5. Excuse me. Hey, Jobby, hope you have been doing well and thanks for the great reviews. I wanted to ask, what is that joint solution you have been using recently? That is Dr. D Star's Fixer Elixir. Dr. D-Star's Fixer Elixir, and, and D-Star is a fellow toy channel on YouTube. And this is like 20 bucks, I believe, and it, and it works. It just takes a while to dry. And, uh, but I mean, I'm pretty sure D-Star will admit this himself. Kiki is the superior solution. D-Star's pretty close, but if you can't get your hands on Kiki, uh, get this instead. Yeah, but if you can't, this is a good alternative. This one's just a little hard to to get because it's overseas it takes a while to ship out if you're living in the u.s all the way from thailand yeah both of them take a while to dry out to to really be fully effective so take your time with them and have fun we got gyno dollins s52 with another 25 dollars yeah with another 25 dollars through the stream labs Yo, Jobby, it's Gano checking in. Committed to Parkland College for basketball. Looking forward to more reviews so I can stay in the loop. And if you get time, get on the Parkland stream sometime and watch me throw a few down. Awesome, dude. <laughs> Thank you for, for donating. Thank you for your generosity, man. We got Joe something with $5 through the stream labs. I just woke up. How you doing? I'm doing great. We're making good time on filming the review and I hope to release it uh, sooner than normal. Low Metroid with four ninety nine through the super chat. Hey Jobby, are you planning on playing Metroid Dread when it comes out? I feel like you'd enjoy it. I'm curious about it, but I don't know if I want to pay full price for it. It looks a bit cheap, or is it just me? I don't know. It looks like a DS game that wasn't released and then just got slightly remastered. I don't know. It, it looks okay doesn't look bad but it doesn't look awful but it doesn't look uh triple a vaporizer 299 through the super chat uh dark of the moon is decent and i will defend it till all are one i can't argue with you there since i haven't watched it yet but i do want to i mean i watched it in the theater when it came out and i don't remember any of it so i would want to rewatch that Gano Dolan's S52 with another $5 through the Super Chat says, If you check out the college stream, you will definitely see me throw it down. Nice, dude. Jay Watson with $10 through the Streamlabs. Thank you. Can you play VR chat as Transformers characters, especially Starscream? I do not have a VR headset, and the only way I would play VR chat is if I had a VR headset. So I might have to look into a VR headset now. Jeet Sen Chadhuri with a New Zealand $5 says, Hey, Jobby, hope you're having a great day. You also reignited my passion for Transformers. What do you think about the MPM12 Optimus Prime? It doesn't look good. <laughs> the truck mode has cat ears and the robot mode looks pathetic. It looks okay. Actually, 
after seeing other promo pics of it. The initial promo pictures were fucking horrible and hilarious. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm not getting it if that's what you're wondering. Low Metroid with 499. Also, have you ever considered reviewing stuff from 1000 Toys like their Master Chief figure? Nope. I'm a happy man. Would not get a Halo figure. I'm just not into it that much. Thank you for your donation. Intimidator X with 10 pounds. Hey, Jobby, love your work for some time. What do you think of Kingdom? And have you watched Dan Allen Gaming's interview with David K? As well, stay strong. I haven't seen that interview. I should look it up. And Kingdom was okay. It's a solid 6 out of 10. Uh, maybe 7 out of 10 if I'm feeling generous. 6.5 probably. Uh, voice acting for the Beast Wars characters is definitely the weakest part of Kingdom. All of the Beast Wars characters man. were pretty uncharacteristic, <laughs> honestly. And we got Jay Watson with another $5 through Streamlabs says, You can play VR chat in PC mode. I don't wanna. I would rather play VR chat with a VR headset. Oh, yes. Thank you for subscribing. Now, if that is all the donations, I will open up that shows you store box and then we're going to call it. But if anyone wants to have any last minute donations, feel free. I'll read all of them at the end. But here I go. Here I go to get the shows you store box. Love these guys. These guys have always been good to me. One of my favorite uh, my favorite consistent toy sponsor besides Big Bad Toy Store. Love their P they love their customer service. They might be a little bit slow, but I mean I can't really blame them during this period of time. And they got good prices on third-party stuff, which is basically uh, my favorite style of figure to collect. So shows you store. Go check them out. Links in the description, actually. Links in the description. Let's open this up and see what's inside. I have a good idea, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Unboxing. Can we get a like for unboxing? I see viewers are increasing or decreasing. Ooh. It's okay. They're, that just means they're missing out on the sneak preview of a review that I will do in two weeks. So far, so good. I don't even... Hey, <laughs> that looks great, actually. Oh my god. Okay. This is exactly what I expected. And then some. <sighs> Damn, boy. Damn, boy. That is... That is... A beauty. Oh! Oh, shit. Box almost opened up from the bottom. That would have been bad. Well, well, well. Look how beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Box is a little scuffed up, but other than that, check that out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get a good look at that on the toy camera. I don't know how to say this, but this is a, this is a third-party figure, but not a third-party Transformer. It's a third-party... So that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a fun video. Looking forward to looking... Taking a look at this guy. I'm gonna unbox it right now. Why the hell not? We're already here. And I have a captive audience. Let's take a look at the contents of this box. Nice. Actually, I want to do a, I want to do a box turnaround first before I open it up. Yeah, the box is I'm scuffed up, though. That's man. a little, that's a little unfortunate. Thank you very much. It's a little unfortunate that the box is scuffed up, but hopefully the figure itself is in good 
condition. Yeah, third party figure. Third party. G -g 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 yeah, I got the had to bring the camera very far back. Let me try to turn on the turntable without disrupting the camera. There we go. Perfect. Ugh. Okay. Fire Convoy says, Yo, Jobby, will you do another Gundam review? <laughs> that fake laugh had so much disdain in it. <laughs> You're literally looking at one right now, dude. <laughs> You're literally looking at one right now. A third party one, but a Gundam nonetheless. Ah. King Gamer Zambrano says, Hey, Jobby, what happened to the Planet X figures? I still have them. I still have them. That's all I have to say. Oh, Nixon. With $5 through the Super Chat. Thank you. Says, Have you seen STS-01 The Last Night Prime on Show Z? Looks like it would put Challenger and Orion to shame. I have. Uh, but right now, it's only a 3D render, right? I'm waiting for a actual product shot. And I hope that it's good. I hope it gets released soon as well. The Poop Turd Man in the chat says, Jobby, do you have an opinion on opinions? Opinions suck my ass. Opinions are like assholes. I want to eat every single one of them. <sighs> you can quote me on that. TW0B151 in the chat says, Hey, Jobby, what do you think about Netflix Dinobot? He's okay. His voice is not my favorite, but it captures the character pretty well. And he is uh, very close to the original, which I appreciated, but his arc gets wrapped up too quickly and we barely knew him. Boom. The Netflix team tried to achieve that same emotional power that the original Dinobot had in its final scene, but they didn't earn it. They did not earn it at all. Jesus Christ, look at my fucking belly. I gotta do something about that. What the hell happened? I blame COVID. I blame quarantine. Let's unbox this sucker. Okay. Unboxing this sucker now. I don't need a knife because it looks like it's been opened already. Uh, this might be a review copy that's being sent around, but to my knowledge, I don't have to send this back out. I don't know. It's mine now. Damn. Damn, boy. That's a big ass. Oh, that's a big ass boy. Holy shit. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. No, the figure looks well packed. It's just the box that was shit. Fuck. Fuck. That's so cool. Yep. I came. <laughs> oh, man. That, that looks awesome. Okay. So look forward to that review. So I'm going to do that review. After I review this guy. And I'm going to review this guy. After I review this guy. So that is the video schedule for this month. Okay. Any... Last minute questions, any last minute donations before we head out? Let me go turn on my air conditioner before I cook in my own fat. Ugh. Which sounds pretty delicious, not gonna lie. Okay. 
Poo. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm just here chilling with my with my new not Gundam or third party Gundam. God, it looks fucking awesome. Oh, oh, mm. it smells like a new figure. The box did not look new, but it definitely smells like a new figure. It, it's got that, uh, uh, that, that, that paint, that painting smell. It smells like a freshly painted model kit. So, so it smells like cancer basically, <laughs> but very yummy, yummy cancer for all those Gunpla builders in the chat. You know what I'm talking about. Ooh, that is nice. Okay. Uh, T Posing Angel says, Review more GoBots now! Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. Luzi says, I really dig the samurai look of it. I do too. This is great. Oh, oh it's got interchangeable hands, I guess. Yeah, it does. Shit. Dam says, Did you say Mado Kit? Yes, I did. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh. Yeah, definitely look forward to this review. It's not going to get a lot of views because every one of my viewers just wants Transformers and nothing else. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This bitch has a fracture on it. That's no good. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, yes. This bitch has a fracture on it. That... I just noticed. That's unfortunate. Oh well. What are you gonna do? I got this for free. Yeah, full disclosure, I did get this figure for free from the Shozi store. Uh, yeah. I do want to review this though. Oh, well that sucks. Anyway. <laughs> what do we, what, what are we doing? What are we saying? Do you wanna, do you want to say anything else before I get the heck out of here? Chris Powell says, where did you get it? Love been looking for one to buy. I'm oh, this guy? Man. <laughs> Thank you. If you want if you want one of these guys for yourself, you can check the link in the description. Um, it should be there. Okay. Chris Estrada with five dollars through the super chat. Thanks so much. And he leaves no comment. Uh ODST795 says good night. Have a good night. Uh TH3 Goji Hunter says Dark of the Mo Moon movie review when? I have no idea. Uh, buh, buh, buh. uh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, uh excuse me. Okay. Oh yes. I'm gonna go now. Oh yes. I'm gonna go now. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for your generosity and don't ask me how I uh, got got this scar. I, I'm I'm just saying. I, I I just look like this now. Uh, be prepared. Cover coming soon.